So, Michael, I want to get your assessment of these two motions to dismiss the charges against Trump here. So, one, his lawyers say he's protected by the Presidential Records Act, and they argue that he designated the records at Mar-a-Lago as personal. Now, in the second motion, they claim the main statute that the special counsel is using here against Trump is constitutionally vague as it applies to presidents. Do you think Trump's team has valid arguments for either of these? I don't. I think that the Presidential Records Act is pretty clear on its face as to what is official records of the United States and what can be designated as personal records. And if you remember that what was in the contents of the box, there were a lot of newspapers and wrestling belts and all that stuff is personal. But when it comes to classified documents, those are government documents and he can't designate them as personal. He can, well, President tried to declassify them, but that doesn't make them personal either. And similarly, with respect to the vagueness claim, this claim, I think, also doesn't bear uh, scrutiny because I think the, the the law is pretty clear on its face. What is it intending to allow? What can the defendant know in order to defend himself on it? And just as we saw in Georgia yesterday, where they dismissed some counts for lack of clarity, I think this does not reach even that standard, which could be cured. So I think that he loses on both. And, and Tristan, just a, a reminder of the contents of these documents that were found there at Mar-a-Lago. Jack Smith says that they include weapons capabilities of both the U.S. and foreign countries, U.S. nuclear programs, potential vulnerabilities of the U.S. and its allies, and plans for possible retaliation in response to a foreign attack. And Trump's trying to argue that these are personal? I mean, who among us does not have these kind of personal records lying around our apartments and houses? I mean, I often have nuclear records uh, stashed away as, as personal mementos. I mean, this is insane. So I, I really feel like that argument, I hope that that gets treated with the derision that it deserves. I don't know that it will be, but I, I really hope that that's the case because that's just an absolutely insane argument. Is the constitutionally vagueness argument, Lisa, more murky to you? I think it has some facial appeal. But the parts of it that he's claiming are unconstitutionally vague, when you look at the case law and you look at the statute as it's been applied, that doesn't hold water either. For example, one of the phrases in this statute that he says is unconstitutionally vague is what it means to have national defense information. It may be that there is some vagary about what constitutes national defense information, Anna, but the charges here that he's trying to dismiss counts one through 32 of this indictment all involve classified documents. I think we could agree that any document that has a top secret or SCI clearance here, as many of these do, and all of them are some level of classification, are inherently national defense information. Especially if it's related to U.S. nuclear programs, <laughs> right? So as applied, I don't think that that argument really will carry weight. I want to go back to the statute, the, uh, the argument that Tristan was talking about, about the Presidential Records Act, because there's a different barrier there. There's a factual issue too, right? Donald Trump is saying, I can't be held criminally responsible because I designated all of these records as personal. That's an issue of fact that should be left to the fact finder at a later stage of criminal proceedings. That's not an appropriate issue for a motion to dismiss, which is really supposed to be just about the law, meaning assuming all the facts alleged by the government are true, is there a crime that has been sufficiently alleged so as to warrant a trial? Whereas here, he's saying, well, I designated all of these as personal. There's no proof that that ever happened. Send he's to the jury. Yeah, he's asking mm. the court, take my word for it. Assume I am telling the truth. That's not the way a motion to dismiss in a federal court is supposed to work. And, and Tristan, we're told this could take all day. The judge told both parties, be ready to spend the day here in court. Trump's there voluntarily. He doesn't have to be there. Do you see a, a, a legal reason for him to be there? There's really never a legal reason for him to be there at any of these things. He is there to, we have to remember that he's there because the people bankrolling all of his legal fees are his base. So he needs to show up, uh, look like he's being the victim and being persecuted. It's this whole self-pitying act that he's been doing for months and months now at all of these different trials and hearings. That's why he's there. He's there for crowdfunding.